Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics lessons and today's problem is which of the following is an example of polyploidy. This is very easy question, but many people confuse all the time how to solve this type of problems. So let's review again what is a ploidy, polyploidy, haploidy, diploidy and so on. First variant, an insect with n equals 4 has 8 total chromosomes in each somatic cell. So here is the n, here is the 2 n, here is the 3 n and here is the 4 n. Diploid organism has 2 n sets of the chromosomes. So n stands for the number of chromosomes in the sex cells, which can be with the egg cell or sperm. So we also call this state haploid. So if haploid number is four chromosomes, so four chromosomes, then diploid organism would have double number, so would have eight chromosomes. But some of the plants, for example, can be triploid, may have three sets of the chromosomes, for example, banana. Banana is triploid, so would have, in this case, 12 chromosomes. And would be sterile for this reason, because we cannot divide number of chromosomes by two. You can say we can divide 12 by two and it's going to be six, but this is not exactly what happens. Take a look. For example, here we have one chromosome number one, one chromosome number two, one chromosome number three, and one chromosome number four. In diploid organism, we have two sets of the chromosomes. So we will have two chromosomes number one, two chromosomes number two, two chromosomes number three, and two chromosomes number four. In triploid organism, we are going to have one, two, three sets of the chromosome number one, three sets chromosome number two, three sets chromosome number three, and three sets of the chromosomes number four. Now you see those we can divide 12 by two, and we are going to get six, but it doesn't apply to each chromosome set. For example, we cannot divide equally three chromosomes number one, we cannot divide equally three chromosomes number two, and three and four. So we just cannot divide them evenly. Hence, triploid plant, for example, is going to be sterile, or it also can be animal which is going to be sterile. But take a look, tetraploid plant is going to have four sets of the chromosomes, so would have 16 chromosomes and would be fertile, take a look, would have four chromosomes number one, four chromosomes number two, four chromosomes number three, and four chromosomes number four. Of course, in this case, we can divide them by two, and here we also can divide by two, but for example, in this case, when organism has three sets of the chromosomes, it's going to be sterile and fertile. And when organism would have five sets of the chromosomes, again, five we cannot divide by two, and it's going to be sterile again. Most of the animals and plants belong to this category. They are diploid, having two sets of the chromosomes and their gametes, whether it is egg cells or sperm, are haploid and have only one set of the chromosomes. Because most of the animals and plants are diploid, everything above 2n considered to be polyploid. It doesn't matter how many chromosomes in each set, whether it is odd number or even number, whether this plant or animal can be sterile or fertile, it doesn't matter, everything above 2n is going to be considered as polyploid. So as you see, the first variant, when n is equal 4 and diploid equal 8, would be just normal ploidy and not polyploid. So let's check the second variant, a plant with n12 has 48 total chromosomes in each somatic cell. And somatic cell would be all the cells in our organism except sex cells. We see that 
12 is four times smaller than 48. That means that this organism is tetraploid and has four full sets of the chromosomes. So has four chromosomes number one, four chromosomes number two, four chromosomes number four, and so on. So this is going to be polyploid organism. And let's take a look at the variant tree, a fish with N66 has 132 total chromosomes in each somatic cell. So 36 times 2 is going to be 132. Those fish has many chromosomes in its gametes, 66, but in somatic cells has just double number, which is diploid. So it is not polyploid. It is belongs to this group of the diploid organism. So it's not going to be polyploid. So we have only one polyploid organism here, and this is going to be answer A. One more interesting fact, tetraploid organism would produce gametes that are going to have half the number of the normal number of chromosomes, and 4N, meaning tetraploid organism, has four homologous chromosomes. So gametes, which is can be sperm or egg cells, would have two sets of the chromosomes. Gametes of the tetraploid organism are going to be diploid. And this is all for today. Thank you for attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day and see you in the next video. Goodbye.